Oh, what is up, Tavarishi? So, you know that guy, the overtly cocky British dude that made his pug do a Zeke Heil? You know, the guy whose face would probably peel off if he's anywhere close to a larger magnet? Well, he has that thing going on, absolute madlands. And it always has some sort of political undertone, but that's not going to be the topic of this video. No matter how ideologically idiotic this man is, I have to say, regretfully, that he does have a bit of charisma going on somewhere under that gingery balding head of his. The premise is simple. He finds someone who is absolutely batshit, borderline unbelievable, and does a commentary recap of their lives. Now, in typical socialist fashion, we will proceed to steal from the innovative capitalist and call it our own. Welcome to what will probably become a series. Absolute mad leftist lads and lassies. And for the first episode, what would be better than the Nazi killing man shaming definition of absolute bloody badassery? Lyudmila, Mikhailnova, Pavlichenko. Ah, <sighs> just the name. Damn, I love this woman. So, Lyudmila was a young girl born in the fleeting years of the Russian Empire, in what today is known as Ukraine. She grew up, though, in the Soviet Union. While working at an arms factory, she joined a local shooting club, patiently growing her skills as a sports shooter. Oh, the oppressive communists, a girl being allowed to join a shooting club in the 1930s. The audacity. Mad Tavarish Lyudmila proceeded to pursue an intellectual career as a historian, starting her studies at the University of Kiev. And then boom, 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 boom. That little thing called World War II happened and the Wehrmacht was marching towards her homeland. Just imagine. Just try to. You are a student, as probably half of you watching are, and there is a massive, terrifying force moving towards you and all you love. And imagine having the balls to, as she did, be one of the first absolute mad lads to sign up. And yes, no matter how gender progressive the Soviet Union was for its time, and objectively, yes, it was, they still suggested that she should be a field medic. To their complete surprise, though, young gangster Lyudmila had won almost every imaginable civil shooting prize, and they had no other choice but to let her in. This girl was such a mad lassie, though, she proved her skills in some of the first days of the war. Being a good marksman, though, does not immediately translate into being a good soldier. The staunch, strong, intellectual young woman might have had the guts to stand up to the line and defend her nation and her belief system, but killing is a whole nother ball game. The first few times she aimed down her sights, she says she had enemy soldiers in her crosshairs, but chose not to open fire. It was a human, and taking a life would not come that easily, until a barrage of enemy fire flew past her and mowed down a few of her younger comrades. It was then that she saw that sometimes acting passively and not engaging in violence could be the more brutal and violent act. Aiming down her scope, she proceeded to go through the, the Germanic horde away a knife goes through butter. As a part of the infamous Women's Sniper Battalion, she was deployed all over during the war. Together with her fellow sisters of war, Yudmila would wash her bullets in Nazi blood. She would mannequins from stores as a distraction, flags as checkpoints, and would remain in prone position for days on end. Once, she escaped near death. When perched up on a tree, a bullet whizzed by and grazed her, leading to her fall on the cold, snowy, freezing Soviet ground. 
knowing that if she moved even an inch, the enemy sniper would see that she's alive and finish the job. So this wounded woman, who just fell off a fucking tree, proceeded to stay fucking still on the freezing ground for a whole fucking day until she felt safe and crawled out. She raked in an impressive number of 309 kills during the war, out of which 36 were enemy snipers, a far more complicated task than simple foot soldiers. Germans refer to her as the Russian bitch from hell. <laughs> and so she took her role with pride and saved plenty of Nazi soldiers from the cold, harsh winter of the Soviet Union, tucking them into the warm embrace of hell through every pull of her Mossan rifle. Comrade Dog, you must take Mossan. Here, you take Mossan. It is good rifle. You will kill the Germans with it. You must protect motherland. It is your duty. The Germans would play loudspeakers all the time when they knew she was around, attempting to bring her to their side and make sure the Soviets lost one of the greatest morale boosters of the army. Stories go that Lyudmila had fallen in love with Sergeant Major Leonid Kitsenko, a fellow soldier and sniper whose life was cut short during the war. Once Lyudmila had lost this man, who she grew to love, honor and respect, her killing became more personal. Lyudmila would shoot off the legs and arms of enemy soldiers and wait for rescue to come, only so she can eliminate them as well. The greatest snipers of the Third Reich would be sent in wherever Miss Lyudmila was operating in an attempt to eliminate this Soviet hero. But our badass, completely mad lassie managed to take out 36 of Germany's best. 36 to 1. That's a 2.7% survival chance if her training and skills were the same as those of her enemies and they sure as hell were not. The physical part of her fight would soon come to an end. Suffering from motor fire, our badass babushka fucker Lyudmila was pulled off the front. But her fight wouldn't end there. In an attempt to inspire the Americans to join the war, she became a part of a special envoy over to the US. There she was greeted by a different world, one spoiled in excess and the inability to understand sacrifice, a people soft and void of the understanding of true struggle of staying still for two days without eating, without drinking, and only intoxicating yourself on the lives of your enemies because it's either them or you. In America, this woman, the killer of 309, was continuously questioned on why her skirts are so long. Where the fuck is her makeup? How can a woman serve in the army? Were the Soviets so pathetic they even sacrificed their weaker sex? Komre Lyudmila always responded to all these accusations, questions, and bigoted perspectives as a teacher would, attempting to show them her side of the coin, the woman's, the Soviets. So much so that she befriended one of the most powerful women in the world, Eleanor Roosevelt herself. Their original meeting is what spurred one of the most mythical and epic sentences in anti-fascist history. I apologize for the sound and video quality, but you have to check this out. Second Lieutenant Lyudmila Pavlichenko. And who are you? I'm a sniper. Did she a say woman? A sniper? No. And uh, how many men have you killed? No, two men. Fascists. 309. The two would grow to become fantastic friends, to the point that Eleanor herself even visited her in Moscow during the Cold War. This girl went from a small town farmer's daughter 
to the most decorated killing machine of the female sex in history, proceeded to inspire hundreds of thousands of men and women to join the cause against fascism, even at the cost of their own lives, and Jesus fucking Christ became the best friend with the goddamn First Lady of America. If that's not some absolute mad shit, I don't know what is. In her speech, in front of the crowds of America, in her proud attempt to muster the forces of the U.S. into potentially helping their allies, Miss Lyudmila, a hero, said the following words. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I am 25 years old. Мне 25 лет. And I have killed 309 fascists. Я убила 309 фашистских захватчиков. Do you think, gentlemen? Не кажется ли вам, gentlemen, that you have been hiding? Что вы слишком долго прячетесь за моей спиной? Hope you guys enjoyed this more entertainment type of setup format. And please do tell me if you'd like to see more videos celebrating the most outright insanely epic comrades among our broader worldview. And if you find it in you, please do subscribe and check me out on Twitter at Ugopnik. I post some attempted edgy content over there and love talking to you guys whenever you hit me up. If you have any acquaintances who have the audacity to call leftists cowards, please do show them this beautiful video. Stay strong, Tavarishi, and remember, I love you. Fell by your gun, fell by your gun, 300 Nazis fell by your gun.